everyone, Tim with Collect Jurassic here with another news update on our channel. This one is a big one, uh, talking toys for Jurassic World from Mattel for next year. Um, we are kind of getting to the end of 2020 with no real information about next year's toy line in sight, but that's going to change. Um, so definitely join me on this video. We'll be talking about that. You know, the past few years, we've had Fallen Kingdom in 2018, Dino Rivals 2019, and Primal Attack. This year was... Uh, 2020. Um, but for next year, it was kind of assumed that it would be Jurassic World Dominion. So uh, unless you've been living under the rock, you know that that movie has now been delayed into 2022, which means what toys are we getting next year? Uh, we don't even know because San Diego Comic Con, where Mattel usually kind of pulls the curtain back on what's next, uh, was canceled as well. So we've kind of been in the dark about what toys are coming. But um, I can finally, hopefully, give a, shed a little bit of light on what's next, and we can kind of get our hopes up and get a little bit excited. And of course, I'm talking about Dino Escape. That seems to be the new kind of subline, sub brand for Jurassic this year. And it's not just toys, or sorry, it's not just Mattel toys, but it's pretty much all toys and collectibles will be coming out under this banner um, if a universal trademark filing is to be believed. Um, and there's some pretty cool stuff that we can start to look forward to um, that will most likely be coming out um, in the next year. And we'll start with the new Dino Escape Wild Attack assortment. So this assortment sounds similar enough to attack packs, um, but I do believe, and it is rumored, that this is a little bit different than the attack pack figures we've gotten. There's um, a, an action feature of some sort, some sort of action mechanism. So probably putting these at a higher price point than the $7.99 attack packs and maybe something a little closer to Savage Strike. Uh, it could be somewhere in between. These could be basically Savage Strike figures. We really don't know. Again, all this information is preliminary. Um, we don't have, um, you know, any kind of confirmed species. We really just have speculation to go off of. And of course, with Jurassic World Dominion uh, being delayed, I mean, maybe the toys they had planned ended up being changed. We really don't know, and we probably never will know uh, the complete backstory, but this is at least a, uh, you know, an update, a new assortment, not necessarily um, attack packs again, but something different, probably bringing some new species to the table as well, since it is sort of a revamped uh, assortment and not just a repeat from last year, which we saw, you know, Primal Attack and Dino Rivals kind of repeat the same assortments. Um, it looks like Dino Escape is bringing some new ones to the table, with this one being the, the cheapest price point that we know of right now, anyway. Um, and that brings us to our next uh assortment which is much more exciting <laughs> to me anyway and that's the human packs yes humans are back you know we've been missing humans from mattel for a while um and we haven't um we've got a couple exclusive releases here and there but um as far as like new humans on the shelves at stores uh we haven't haven't been getting those um but it looks like mattel has sort of gone back to the drawing board and kind of figured out that uh this time around they're going to try something that's sort of a combination pack that comes with a dinosaur. Again, like everything we're going in the video, this is all preliminary information. Um, we don't know for sure, you know, what what humans, what dinosaurs. Uh, it, it makes sense that they're not going to be releasing Jurassic World Dominion related uh, characters at, at you know next year with the movie being delayed, but. I would wager, and you know, it, it kind of looks like it um, behind the scenes that this is going to be probably really focused on Camp Cretaceous, which is good news for everyone that's really enjoyed the show and sort of hoping that they can collect more characters from the show. Um, you know, I'd love to see, uh, you know, a human dinosaur pack for basically every character outside of Darius, since we already have that figure, but we'll see. I also wouldn't be surprised to see Owen return to this assortment, but maybe we'll get another shot at some of the other harder to find figures. And who knows, maybe the Franklin figure we never got will make an appearance in this human dinosaur pack. We just don't know, but very excited about humans all the same. Um, that brings us to the Roar Attack assortment. So Roar Attack Attack is probably, um, you know, just sort of the latest name for the Roravor, for the uh, Soundstrike assortment that we got. Um, but I, I do think there's some different mechanisms going on here than Primal Attack. So if 2020 was all Primal Attack with this sort of, you know, tail motion kind of thing, uh, I think these Roar Attack figures are going to be something a little bit different with a little bit more of a reworked mechanism. It sounds like they have sort of a signature action feature that sort of goes with the iconic film species. And they also have some sort of like three levels of um, like roaring noises or three levels of attack. So um, that stuff is all just sort of, um, you know, transcribed right now. We don't really know how any of it really works. 
But, uh, you know, it's no surprise that Mattel is kind of bringing this price point with those electronic sounds uh, back for Dino Escape, since I think those figures have been probably the most popular in the whole toy line. I know Roarvors was a huge hit in terms of, uh, you know, sales and sort of popularity with people. Um, that was a, just a, a home run for them. So they've always been trying to sort of fill that niche uh, and off, always offer something at that price point with those features. So, um, again, no species that we know of, just speculation here um, but uh, this will definitely be probably one of the more uh, numerous uh, releases next year that the sound of, or the roar attack sorry uh, that brings us to Mega Destroyer, the next assortment. So it wouldn't be a Mattel Jurassic toy line without some bigger figures. Uh, you know, you, you got to get something a little bit bigger for those bigger species. And Mega Destroyer does look to fill that um, sort of hole with some bigger figure releases. I'm not sure what's coming on the way for this. Again, we don't know any species, but um, it probably could be comprised of repaints with maybe some new features, some new mechanisms. I knew, I know it was rumored that this assortment would come with uh, capture gear possibly and I hope that's still the case again with Dominion being delayed that's kind of put a lot of um, you know these these little details sort of up in the air of, of you know if that is something that was tied explicitly to the movie would it still come out in the toys next year um, I'm sure Mattel had to do some you know some major pivoting uh, internally to kind of get the toys out that they needed to get out next year without spoiling the movie. So, um, you know, for these guys, we'll really just have to see, um, you know, uh, what what comes with them or if it really is just, um, you know, maybe there'll be some new species, maybe science will return with a repaint. We really don't know. We just know that this assortment is coming and it, you know, is, is definitely comparable to the massive biters. Um, but, uh, you know, a, a new name and hopefully some new figures to go along with it. Um, and that brings us to uh, the final sort of uh, speculative piece of this video. You know, we've known about these previous assortment names that I just went over and, and what may be coming for those. But uh, I mean, that's really all we know. Uh, but there were some other figures that were rumored to be coming out, um, you know, before the delay with Dominion. And I'm hoping they still make their way out in some way, shape or form. Um, I think we knew about a T-Rex figure, of course. Seems like we get a new T-Rex figure every year. But there was also a Mosasaur rumored to be um, coming out as well, like a reworked Mosasaur. So, again, if that stuff's tied to Dominion... Um, I really don't blame them for kind of holding off on releasing it and not spoiling it. But if there is some way they can get these figures out um, sort of under a more general banner of Dino Escape so that people can still buy them, I mean, th they could always release them again uh, for Dominion, maybe in different packaging or with different paint colorations. I don't really know. I mean, it's kind of a weird position Mattel is in this year and Universal for that matter. Um, but maybe there's some stuff with Camp Cretaceous too they can go back and revisit. Like we could get a Camp Cretaceous Mosasaur or whatever. But um, on top of this, there are some other releases we've heard rumors of, some Super Colossals. But again, all that stuff uh, is kind of up in the air. So we really don't know um, what's still coming. We can just kind of count on um, these basic assortments I went over um, already before this but uh, as far as anything else outside that like one-off dinosaur figures bigger figures we're just not sure but you can definitely count on um, some some of this new stuff coming out next year under dino escape i'm really hoping those wild packs and human packs make it especially but hopefully everything else will be making the jump too it seems like that is the case but again all this information needs to be taken with a generous uh generous portion of speculation because we just don't know about everything for sure i mean normally we have events where they're telling us um you know whether it's universal or mattel or whatever is saying like these toys are coming out at this date or this is what you can expect but all that stuff has kind of been up in the air for uh 2021 so i'm sure we'll find out a little bit more specific details here in the next couple months or two as we get closer to the new year and of course here on collect jurassic we will always always cover that stuff and you know put it on the website put it on our videos put it on social so definitely stay tuned but uh i think that's all i have for today again i'm tim with collect jurassic and thank you for watching